Thank you, Mr. Chairman, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my presentation will deal about the use of the digital metric correlation to correct the thermal aspect curves in static tests by the, uh, the group of the University of Catania, uh, with me, Enrico uh, Fienti, and uh, Marino Cuneverrano. Let me spend a few minutes in order to uh, explicate some of the activity we have done in the last 30 years. Um, together to the traditional parameters uh, since the uh, beginning of the 80s, we worked on uh, non-traditional parameters, that is uh, the variation of temperature. And uh, for us, um, in uh, uh, dynamic test, the temperature was one of the most important information about the energy uh, released by the, the, the space before the, the failure. Um, in, uh, in this uh, uh, long research, we work uh, in, uh, in, on uh, different uh, um, topics. For, uh, for, um, first of all, the fatigue limit. Uh, from a thermal map, giving from a, a machine and a, a remote sensing infrared thermal camera, was possible to uh, derive all the information regarding the temperature of the stabilization and the gradients uh, as a function of the stress applied. And then, uh, by them, it's possible to find the, the uh, fatigue limit. At the same time, it's possible also to uh, measure the total plastic energy, and uh, by these two information, it's possible to arrive to the boiler curve. Um, since uh, 91, I remember Professor Rizitano is was the, the master that uh, we call it this method, method Rizitano, because he was the master of this uh, uh, research and uh, uh, give us two uh, ideas for, for it. And uh, we, since the 91, we extend this method to the static test. And by thermal theory, you know that uh, the thermal variations are negative in tensile stress and decrease linearly uh, with the applied load. The gradient inverts the sign and uh, the thermal variation becomes positive in the plastic phase but there is a, a shadow zone between them in which uh, uh, the mm, behavior of the material was not totally elastic and then it's possible to find uh, here uh, one of the uh, some of, to define some parameter linked to the, to the fatigue because we consider the fatigue as not, not only me but uh, more the scientists in the world uh, uh, the, uh, um, nucleation and uh, uh, cumulative damage. Uh, for this, uh, we concentrate our. Sorry. We concentrate. Okay. Okay. We concentrate our activity in this, in this zone. The zone in which uh, the uh, system is. Uh, uh, in uh, uh, negative uh, um, variation of temperature, and with this it's possible to find something uh, linked to the uh, point in which uh, the uh, thermal uh, behavior is not linear and became to uh, increase for uh, due to the uh, uh, beginning of the, the damage. In, uh, in this area, we will work uh, with a, a methodology called for us a static methodology. Oh, sorry. Just a moment. Thank you, sorry. Okay, with uh, this uh, introduction, the aim of our uh, uh, Study is uh, that uh, linked to the one of the, the problem because uh, uh, during a static test uh, the, there is obviously the deformation and uh, uh, strain uh, and then uh, to uh, we have 
the, the need to follow correctly the uh, point uh, under uh, uh, observation. And uh, during the, 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 the formation, we need of some of the uh, methodology to follow correctly this point. An approximate correlation based on the theoretical calculation uh, of the elongation and uh, Poisson's effect uh, often is not sufficient, mainly when there are uh, any kind of discontinuities like uh, notches. Purpose of this paper is to correlate the thermographic survey with the displacement uh, given by the digital image correlation method uh, simultaneously on the same sample. This procedure uh, will uh, uh, define the trend of temperature uh, due to the state con concentration effect corresponding to a local classification. <laughs> plastic, 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 plastic. The experimental investigation was uh, made on a specimen on plastic, particularly uh, polyvinyl chloride, uh, so a rectangular bar with uh, uh, 20, 24 uh, thickness 3 millimeters, and uh, uh, along uh, different dimensions of the hole for 5.58 millimeters. Uh, then the differing uh, uh, diameter uh, plate with, uh, with uh, ratios uh, under static load, under displacement control with con constant speed that could be or uh, 0.5 or 2 uh, mm per minute uh, using an Eastron testing machine. The, the digital mesh correlation analysis was made by uh, using a pixeling camcorder with uh, 35 mm macro lens and a system of LED lighting uh, to assure a uh, cover uh, um, almost uh, continuous and uh, uh, uniform. Uh, for each test of image, the sec uh, in, uh, a sequence with uh, one frame for per, per second was acquired. These two are the, uh, oh, on the right you, you can see the uh, digital image correlation pattern made by a, a white uh, uh, painting and have, uh, over uh, it uh, a paintbrush uh, uh, sp uh, spackle uh, uh, black. Uh, you can see on the right four points, P1, P2, P3, and P4, and the grid used for the uh, digital image correlation. Uh, the first image on the right uh, is uh, the blue grid, 20, 24 horizontal section and uh, at 10 pixel uh, at distance, and 12 vertical section at 5 pixel at distance along the uh, most interesting area. Uh, on, uh, on, on the right, uh, on the bottom, you can uh, see the two uh, grids, the uh, grid, uh, the reference grid, the, 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 the deformation grid in green and uh, red, uh, that uh, explain uh, the uh, uh, movement of the uh, of the specimen. On the left you can see the map of the uh, displacement. This is the information ca uh, came from uh, the, uh, this uh, experiment, uh, load strain, uh, traditional load strain. And on the right you, you can see for uh, the three different holes uh, the uh, behavior of the displacement along the y and the x uh, <coughs> axis, and you can see that it is uh, uh, only linear in the first part, and, uh, in the plastic part, they deviate completely from the linearity. Together with the uh, 
the digital image correlation when we work with the uh, thermal image applied from uh, uh, by a FLIR uh, uh, SC3000 thermal camera operating in the long wave thermal infrared. Uh, it means between 8 and 14 uh, micrometers with uh, 20 per uh, 15 degrees field of view, always with one frame per second. The correlation has been uh, done between the data coming from the AC and the data from the thermal analysis. Uh, obviously, in, uh, not having the camera the same uh, resolution, we have to um, create a correlation by a, a scale factor alpha. And uh, uh, we consider the uh, temperature linear from one point to another when that are not point of reference. The results. In, uh, in this uh, uh, figure, you, you can see in, uh, in blue uh, the load. In uh, green, the uh, not treated uh, uh, thermal uh, answer. And in uh, orange, the uh, thermal answer uh, obtained by the correlation because of, of the check uh, every point was, was uh, followed by the DAC uh, uh, deformation and then we can correlate any point at each moment. This is the traditional information about the thermal elastic effect and uh, this is important that is uh, you can see uh, with different all uh, on in the table uh, on the bottom right on, on the right uh, that there are very large differences be between the information came from the uh, uh, thermoelastic correct data or the thermoelastic dynamic uh, than dynamic correct. same information uh, on uh, this graph, you see that the, for each uh, uh, hole there are uh, large differences between uh, the red dynamic procedure and uh, the uh, mm, blue uh, static procedure. Then we work on uh, four points. There are four points near the uh, border of the hole, the point PF, PM, PB on the border of the uh, of the plate, and PL large, uh, very uh, far from the the, the hole. We have followed in this graph all the differences, um, considering one or the other. And the interesting thing that is uh, the uh, is possible to define something. Uh, uh, to similar to stress concentration factor in, in a sort in like, uh, something like uh, uh, a strain concentration factor uh, considering the differences of temperature between uh, the uh, point far from the hole and the point near the, the, the hole. If you, if you see the point uh, in uh, uh, red uh, have uh, a large concentration factor instead of the point uh, in medium or the point uh, near to the border of the plate. This, this, the, this difference is, is almost the same than the difference of area. The difference of the net area A of and uh, the ratio between the, the uh, nominal area A0 and the net area. Then uh, uh, you can uh, see uh, you can, that, that uh, the almost the same value are for these, these, these two uh, ratios. And then uh, uh, the point B is uh, substantially uh, unaffected by the uh, uh, 
notch effect. Uh, finally, you can co co connect the correlated curve and the, the different the, the ratio between the difference of temperature in the correlated and uncorrelated curve. And you see that the correlated curve are very similar to the uh, strain concentration factor. Uh, then uh, it's possible to uh, uh, say that uh, uh, this uh, methodology could uh, give uh, correct information if you con co consider really the correlated curve, then the curve co corrected by the DIC uh, methodology, and uh, uh, to, connect, to, to connect the uh, thermal information to the strain in information. In conclusion, uh, the test conduct conducted has shown that the DIC allows following the position of the point uh, of measurement in the thermal image, moving because of the formation, and consequently, it is able to correct the steady curve of temperature, obtaining more reliable values of the thermal behavior, especially in the notched zones. The main feature of the methodology is that, uh, to be able to operate in full field, uh, thus uh, allowing uh, correction in real time in the whole zone and in particular in the measuring point. The results of, of the analysis, of the analysis of uh, digital image correlation and thermal analysis showed an uh, actual de deviation between the profile of correlated thermal curves uh, and those related to the fixed spot, especially in the areas when uh, it, there is a high deformation gradient. And uh, uh, this comparison among the DAC and the thermographic stress concentration factor uh, show how the effect of the following the point and correcting the thermal curve can significantly improve the reliability of the measures. Thank you very much for your attention.